I've given this a lot of thought, and I, my, my, my first thought is that without a doubt this plant, the current plant, needs to be shut down. Um, Glendale is doing the equivalent of trying to drive a Studebaker around to, pr to provide pr power for us, and it, it's not viable, it's, not, uh, it's obsolete, and it's highly polluting, and the plant, as it currently is, needs to go. Um, in terms of replacing the power, I think that you know, we are united in terms of our desire to see reliable, cost-efficient, um, non-polluting power as much as possible. Um, I was very concerned in October to see a presentation in this day and age of a 250-megawatt all-gas plant. It just it seemed um, like kind of a dinosaur, given where we are technologically. And uh, I share Commissioner Mc Margo's um, feeling of being heartened to see significant movement. Uh, just to reiterate, removing one of two baseload power units, those combined cycle units, removes out of this recommended project almost 7,500 hours of emissions a year. I mean, that's at 71 megawatts. That's a lot of power that was uh, cut out of the, um, the proposed project. I understand that's not the preferred project. We're talking about Alternative 5, but that was a lot of power that was removed, and it was replaced with uh, a 50-megawatt battery storage, which is something I think everyone in this room wants to see. Everyone can get behind it. Um, and. I guess what remains for me is we've still got these two peakers. I understand the operational need. I think a solid case has been made for the uh, contingency issue. But I, I share your concerns about how we kind of started on this process. And if we had to do it over again, how would it be different? So I would like to know if we can push harder and see what comes from um, asking the market to come back to us with some ideas about how this plant could be cleaner and greener. Um, again, I see movement in the right direction. I do see, I see significant change. Um, Mr. Zern and I stood actually inside of a battery storage unit several months ago and, and looked around and saw all of the wires and lights lighting up and I mean these projects are being installed, they are being used. I want to see our city on the forefront of adopting aggressive new technologies. I want to see our city on the forefront of innovation. I feel like the tail was kind of wagging the dog here and um, it would not surprise me if at the end of this process we end up with a combination gas-fired plant with some, with some significant battery storage, but I just think we need to have another look. And I would really like to see uh, the city go out to, I mean, here we are in California, let's go out to the innovators, let's go out to the inventors, let's go out to the people who are making these projects work and ask them, here's our, here's our best alternative what can you do to improve this? How can you make this an even cleaner project? I'm heartened to see those um, GHG emissions and those air pollutants go down between the current plant, then the proposed plant, and now finally this alternative where they go even lower. But let's put our shoulders into this just one more time. This is such a critical moment for our city. Let's not waste it and let's ask the question once more. And I do want to state at this point, I don't want to see a big delay in this uh, plant going offline. Grayson needs to go. And I don't want to see, you know, Steve's worst case scenario of a three year delay. I agree that that would really be a terrible result. But if there is a way to efficiently and with consciousness of time, push this process forward, with the input of the market, I welcome it. Those are my comments.